Number 47, determine the molarity for each of the following solutions, and then we have letter F. So in this case, we have 1.8 times 10 to the fourth milligrams of HCl, which is in a 0.075 liter of solution. We have to find the molarity. Well, is there any formula that's coming to mind? Oh yeah, there is. It's this one. This formula is molarity equals the moles of the solute, so the moles of the solid that you're placing into your whole solution, and that is in liters. Now, more you know, easily to remember this equation is just think capital M for molarity equals moles divided by liters. So that's what I'll just put down over here. We're finding a molarity, so we should know the moles, and we should know the liters, right? Because it's moles divided by liter. Well, let's see, did they give us the moles? No, I don't see any mole value here, right? And did they give us the liter? Yeah, they did, right? 0 0.075. So I know this value. Now I just have to somehow convert 1.8 times 10 to the fourth milligram into mole. So that's the first thing that we have to do. We have to take the 1.8 times 10 to the fourth milligram and somehow convert it into moles. Okay. Now going down to our tricks here, right? I can convert to a mole if I know the grams. But do I have the grams? No, I have the milligrams. So what's the first thing that we have to do? Yeah, I have to convert the milligram into grams first. And that's this over here, right? It's right next to the subscribe button. So if you want to press the subscribe button, uh, thank you for that. But anyway, to go from milligram to gram, use this trick, guys, right? To go from a milligram to a gram, I'm going this way. So I just take that number and I divide by a thousand. You could even just take the decimal and go three places to the left, all right? In this case, I'm just going to divide by a thousand because it's in scientific notation. But if it wasn't in scientific notation, you can, you know, just take the decimal and move it three times over. But just know that 1.8 uh, times 10 to the fourth is, what, 18,000? So I'm just going to divide by three. Uh, sorry, three zeros, a thousand. 1.8 e to the fourth. 1.8 times 10 to the fourth divided by 1,000 is 18. So now I have 18 grams and 18 grams of what? 18 grams of HCl, the compound that was being stated. I'm almost there. I still got to get to moles. So somehow I have to go from grams to moles, right? How do I do that? That's this little thing over this side, right? I have a gram value. I need to go to moles. So I'm going this way. So all you have to do is take the number that you have, in this case, it's 18 grams, and just divide by the molecular weight. So that's all that I have to do. But now the thing is, well, what's the molecular weight? We've done tons of problems in which we've had to find the molecular weight of a compound, right? That's just going on the periodic table and adding up what the weight is. So for hydrogen, you have one hydrogen. Hydrogen is roughly one. And then for chlorine, it's 35.45. So if I add those together and I put hydrogen as 1.008, you get roughly 36.458 grams per mole. And that's the molecular weight of HCl. So that's what I have to do. I have to take the amount that I have and just divide it by the molecular weight. In this case, it's the 38.458. So I'm going to take the 18 and divide by the 36.458. And let's see. Um, I get 0. Point, we'll say 0. 0.49. And now that's moles. So this amount is 0. 0.49 moles of HCl. And finally, we found the mole value. So that's 0 0.49 moles. 
And now since I have my two values, I can now find the molarity. Moles, 0.49, divided by liters, 0.075, and we get a number. Let's plug it into the calculator. 0.49 divided by 0 0.075. I get 6.5. Units for molarity is either a capital M, so you could say 6.5 capital M, or you could just take the units of what you divided, mole per liter. They're equivalent, so it doesn't matter. And that's it. There you go, guys. Hopefully this helped. This, this acid, which is a strong acid, by the way, is super concentrated. The higher the molarity, the more concentrated. Okay? So just know that if you get this on your hands... It's going to burn. <laughs> so high numbers, and they're not even that high. Um, they're pretty caustic. All right? So that's this whole idea of molarity. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments what you think. Subscribe if you'd like to. If not, that's okay, too. Uh, maybe we'll get you in the next lesson or video. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.